Picture the scene. It's the early 1940s, World War II. Millions of wounded soldiers and the morphine's run out. What would you do? Do you tell them that it's hopeless? That they're all going to die? Or tell them a little white lie? A young doctor decided to tell them that white lie and thus began one of the greatest phenomenon in medicine, the placebo effect. The placebo effect is a beneficial effect produced by a placebo drug, aka a dummy treatment, which cannot be attributed to the properties of the placebo itself and is therefore due to the patient's belief in the treatment. It fundamentally has no medical value or active ingredients, however, it enables our mind to form an alliance with our body. One of the most common theories is that the placebo effect is due to a person's expectation. If a person expects a pill to do something, then the body's own chemistry can cause effects similar to what the medication itself may have caused. Placebos won't lower your cholesterol or shrink a tumor. Instead, placebos work on symptoms modulated by the brain, such as the perception of pain. A common example of the placebo effect can be witnessed in our childhoods. For example, when I was little and had hurt myself, my mother would kiss my bruise better and suddenly all the pain would have magically disappeared. This is simply due to our brains tricking our bodies into actually feeling better. This can therefore explain the legend of the wartime placebo. In a military battlefield of World War II, a young doctor named Henry Beecher found himself in a desperate situation. The morphine supply was scarce, yet there was an increasing population of wounded soldiers. He decided to continue telling the soldiers he was giving them morphine, what in reality he was infusing them with was a saline salt treatment. Amazingly, 40% of the soldiers reported the saline solution eased their pain, allowing Henry to continue with the operation without proper anesthetics. These incredible results show the power of the placebo effect, however, it raises important questions how is this possible? How are we able to heal physically with a fake treatment? These questions are still left unanswered today and leaves the placebo effect as one of the greatest unsolved mystery in science. A large amount of uncertainty looms a simple question. How does it work? Even though this question is unable to be answered fully, we can try to understand the placebo mechanisms through certain factors such as classical conditioning. Classical conditioning is producing a conditioned response through the repeated associations of two stimuli. For example, if a person takes a yellow pill in case of pain, they may start associating the color yellow with pain relief. Therefore, whenever they take a yellow pill, they will automatically feel relieved regardless of its medical value. Studies on the perceived action of colored drugs have shown that red, orange, and yellow pills are associated with a stimulant effect, while blue and green, a tranquilizing effect. This is due to classical conditioning producing different conditioned responses for different colors of drugs. This can also occur with taste. For example, the well-known children's medicine cowpole is so effective as the pleasant strawberry flavor has been associated with feeling better. Another factor that should be considered is the response of hormones, such as dopamine and endorphins. Endorphins, released by the nervous system, are considered as natural painkillers and work similarly to a class of drugs called opioids. With the advancements in neuroscience and development of brain scans, researchers have shown that the activation of opioid receptors occur in both the actual treatment experimental group and the placebo control group. This, in turn, is related to the feelings of pain relief and pleasure. So far in this talk, I've discussed concepts you may have already been aware of as placebo is a commonly used term. We've mentioned how it can bring about positive changes to the body, however, the negatives are often ignored. The nocebo effect, otherwise known as placebo's evil twin, is a negative outcome due to the belief the intervention will cause harm. The word itself, nocebo, is derived from the Latin, meaning to harm or I will be harmful, in contrast to placebo, meaning to please. If a harmful side effect is expected by the patient after taking medicine, it is more likely they'll experience an adverse reaction. This can be heavily influenced by media storms, such as the ones that followed the COVID-19 vaccines. The COVID-19 pandemic included a perfect storm in which the powerful nocebo effects flourished. 
Social media provided dramatic descriptions of potential side effects and ludicrous conspiracy theories that highly diminished the response to the treatment. I'm sure none of you here actually believe the vaccine contained a microchip. However, the large majority of the population expect drastic side effects of the vaccine, which therefore may increase the severity of the negative symptoms. The placebo effect plays a large role behind the scenes in all of our lives. Even the smallest actions, like kissing a child's bruise better, involves major deception of the mind. Shouldn't we start questioning the reliability of our unconscious? If our minds are tricking us, if we're really able to differentiate what's reality and what's simply just expectation? As time progresses and science develops, maybe then one of the greatest mysteries in science will finally be solved. Thank you.